Hi, good day everyone. Welcome to this short lecture this, uh, to this day. So I got this quotation in my cabinet. I don't know whose quotation is this, but it says, The wise man doesn't give the right answers. He poses the right question. So, let's focus on this quotation low. Yes, it's true. In the society where we are today, we know a lot of people who some pretend to be, to be wise because they say they are able to, to give the right answer to the questions. But very few people we see in our community who poses the right question. We are perturbed with the different answers of people around us. We, we are confronted every day with the answers that we hear from our political leaders when they are having hearing or arguments. But very few of them are able to raise a right question. So, when you are alone and try to reflect on problems that you have in life, it's not actually about solving and be able to give the right answer to your questions. We have to divert ourselves this time to, to have a sort of changing our paradigm that it's not about giving the right answer, but it's about posing the right question. Posing the right question will lead us to a better appreciation of things or life because we are able to comprehend why this happened because you have raised a good question. And our question will lead to creating good ideas, right? There are a lot of opinions we hear every day. They are mere products of those people who do not think. But for those people who poses the right question, they are able to contribute to society their good ideas. And who are these people? These people are those people who spend time in silence and spend time reflecting and thinking. Yes, it's good that we possess a quick mind, that we have all the answers and ideas at the tip of our fingers, but it's not that all the time. Why? Because our ideas, the ideas that we contribute every day, might change the life of many. And that is one thing that we have to be very careful. For example, on my part, as an educator, I am very clever to th ideas that I share in the classroom because they might change the perceptions and the understanding of my students. And it will also change the way they look their own lives. So soliciting ideas is also good because out from those ideas you create a beautiful idea that hopefully will help build society. Looking at our social issues today, especially in the world of politics, where we get a lot of ideas from our political leader, but I don't know how many of us would try to evaluate their ideas. And so we say, it's good, it's bad. Undeniably, there are those people in our community also, they talk a lot, 
but I don't know if they think before they speak. Maybe they have the confidence because they look at themselves superior or knowledgeable. Well, life is not about acquisition of knowledge. Life is not about gaining much knowledge comparable to others. Life is about making wise decisions. Life is making ourselves wiser with the experiences that we have. You may be knowledgeable of many things. That's good. But you may not be wise. You may be superior externally when you appear to everyone. But explicitly you are inferior because you are just trying to, to have your own camouflage because you don't want others to see your inferiority. And so, posing a lot of ideas you think might be good so that people will think that you are superior. But no, it's about posing the right questions. So, it's good to ask then ourselves, do we ask the right question every day? When we experience bad things in life, or when we are at the blissful moment of our lives, do we ask the right questions? Or do we just jump into a wrong conclusions? Or do we just pose the, the, the shallow ideas, but we have not delved into the better idea? Again, guys, it's very important that we create and pose the right question and we offer better or best ideas to people. Because again, ideas will change. Your ideas will change the life of others. In the long run your ideas will change the way they perceive reality they perceive situations they perceive experiences so that will be all for today god bless